Welcome back to the shooting channel. And we are in the IWA in Germany, and I'm gonna find the best guns of 2024. Welcome back to my favorite stand, the Browning stand. And Browning this year have got a lot of new releases that we've come to see Adrian at IWA on the fantastic new Browning stand. So I think they've put a really great amount of effort in displaying all the new products, what they're, what they're going to do for the, next 20, for the next 12 months. It's a real tick in the box for Browning. And Adrian's gonna talk to us about Rather. the new releases and what their plan is for this year. Hi, Hi, how are you? How's the oh, show? Fine. Oh, fine. Very good. No, we are really happy to be back here at the IWA as we missed the last years. And yeah. so this is the first year when we come back and we are really happy about this yeah. because everything is going really well so far. And you've got lots of new releases this year. We've only picked a couple that we're going to yes. pick on. But as every year, Browning try to please its, its clients offering um, innovative and reliable uh, new products. Yeah. So as you can see, we are in front of the legendary Ultra XS. And we all know that that is yes. the best gun on the market. The best, <laughs> one of the best gun on the market, because I yeah. cannot say it's the best gun as we sell also B725 yeah. and B525. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, indeed, it's, it's a great gun. And you all know the British shooter, Sam Green, yeah. uh, who is a world champion with the Ultra XS. So yeah. we have a few new versions. Here you see it's a 20 bore. But the one uh, we were uh, speaking about uh, last time we, we chat was the Ultra XS uh, Dark Pro. Yeah. So with this uh, black receiver, uh, nice, uh, nice, uh, great for, uh, great for wood, and then this is a really uh, shotgun design for uh, sporting clay. So yeah, it comes uh, ready for uh, weight and counterweight pro balance. It's uh, delivered with eight chokes, so you can uh, totally uh, face all the situation you will meet on the shooting ground, and you can adjust basically everything from the stock to the trigger. So, so the the black. So why have you done it like, I mean, I, I think it looks cool, black yeah. looks cool, but why have you decided to kind of do it matte, 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 matte black there? Yeah, because as you said, it's cool. <laughs> um, and okay, underneath, yes, it is an excess. You've got the big yeah. excess there. Uh -huh. um, but it's just, it's like the baby excess that I call it, the black, um, the, the, the black one that you did last time. Yeah. It's just doing different things with the product that everyone loves. Uh, yeah, exactly. Actually, we know we have a, a great platform. So the Ultra XS is a very competitive shotgun, a shotgun made for, for, for victory and during the competition. And so as we have a good platform, it gives us more freedom to do a bit yeah. whatever we want with the design and yeah. meeting the the, the, yeah, the, the the desires of our clients. And he says this is going to be a limited edition. So yes. how many of these are actually going to be produced? Ha, to be honest, uh, I don't know, uh, because a limited edition doesn't mean uh, a fixed number. It can change from a product to another. Let's yeah. say, yeah, it's a limited edition. I don't know ex exactly how many of these are, pro are produced. But it's the 2024 limited yes thing. exactly yeah but so then when it's a huge success so obviously we 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 do it also the during the next year so yeah depends on you guys and and then the biggest thing is we've got you've got a new release in Maruku. yes um following the um the fantastic vibe that the mk38 has had in the Maruku range yeah. Tell us what you've got in the Maruku range, uh, what we've got in the hands here. So, it, as every year, we try to, to offer a new sporting uh, shotguns. Thinking a lot about our uh, English customers, because we know that uh, in Britain, you have a really long love story with uh, Miroku, and we can totally uh, understand this, as they are also great products made for, for success. And then uh, on this one, which is an adjustable uh, version of a sporting gun, you have obviously uh, an adjustable stock, yeah. uh, nice American uh, walnuts, if I do remember well, it's great for. Then it's uh, delivered with a few chokes also for uh, to External uh, chokes. Yeah, excellent chokes to, uh, to uh, f f face all the situation on the shooting grain, ground. And then you have also the possibility to have two different barrel lengths. Yeah. You can or buy it in 32 inch or 30 inch. And this is the grade three that is launching in the shops this year. Is it great? Great tree, indeed. Great tree. Yeah. And, and then the, the biggest thing for all you Maruku fans 
is you're launching a new Maruka clothing, which is skeet vests, gun slips. Yeah. I mean, that must be a really big smile on the face because everyone asks for Maruka clothing. Uh, I, I guess, yes, it should be. Yeah. You, you know, when you are a miracle guy, uh, it's when it's like when you are a groaning guy. I mean, it's deep in your DNA. So yeah. basically, if you shoot with a miracle, you are in love with your miracle and you want to wear also something miracle. So taking it, um, a closer look at our really long experience in sporting guns and the miracle long experience in sporting guns, uh, we took this experience to make uh, to make products that meet the requirements of uh, of the shooters. Yeah. So comment below. Are you interested in Maruku clothing? Please comment. And any anything else you would like to see from Browning over the next couple of years, comment below and Adrian will have a look. You never know, he might even reply to them. Thank you. Thank you. So we are here on the breeder stand and we're just going to have a chat to Ian and Michael about what breeder is likely to be doing in the next year or so. Uh, Breeder and his, their sister company Daystate in the UK and Breeder is a company that used to come into the UK quite a lot and they're just trying to reimburse themselves in the UK. Comment below if you have had a Breeder or if you own a Breeder and comment below what you'd like to see from Breeder in the UK. Welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Have you had a good show? Yes, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. What about you, Ian? What yeah. do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. We've seen a lot, a uh, lot of people, a lot, yeah. uh, lot yeah. of meetings. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I agree with my colleague. Uh, let's say that uh, during uh, the last four days uh, have been very tough uh, yeah. working hours here at the booth. Uh, we got uh, customers visiting us uh, from all over the world, uh, and this is a very nice opportunity to catch up with our foreign partners yep. and distributor. So thank you for asking, right. and uh, finger crossed, seems that the show was much better than the last year. Yeah. First rumor says uh, an important increase of the visitors. Yeah, and give me a little bit of a history about Breeder. What is, what is Breeder? Breeder is one of the oldest Italian firearms manufacturers. We have to go back to the 18th century, when the, when the company has been established in the north of Italy. Breda, along the um, beginning of the 19th century, uh, basically produce uh, all the most important assets for the country, so from uh, train uh, to ships, and of course, uh, military and civil device or civilian firearms. Going back to 1947 is the very first year that Breda approached the civilian market, uh, um, presenting their first uh, hunting shotgun. Yeah. In Breda tradition, let's say, um, we can see and assist uh, two main uh, platforms along the years. One are the semi-auto that we, you can see at our booth and the other one are the over and unders. Yeah. So basically is um, our two core business and to our historical pro main products uh, produced and yeah. distributed. And even though you have had Olympic shooters and you've had top class guns, this is the gun that you're going to be pretty much starting within the UK, isn't it? Um, tell me a little bit about this gun. What, what, what's this unique? I mean, it's got nice Turkish walnut on it. Um, just give me a few ideas about it. Okay, our, uh, the over and under that you're handling in this moment is our Zenit field version. Yeah. yeah. First of all, it's important to say that uh, all our production respect uh, the traditional way, traditional Italian way to make an over and under. That consists in several phases along uh, the same production and assembly. Yeah. Why I'm telling you this? Because it's very important also to understand the positioning of the product in the market. In fact, our goal is to give uh, an Italian traditional shotgun with uh, an aggressive price point uh, for that amount of uh, care that the gunsmith must put in the product. Just to give you an idea, from the beginning to the end, the product is assembled and disassembled three times just to make all the polishing phase, the matching phase uh, and the cosmetical finishing before to reach the over and under that you are handling in this moment. Yeah, and the one unique selling point with Breeder is 
everything on here is made in your factory. So Absolutely, aware is yes. a lot of the other manufacturers, the barrels are made in a different factory, the stocks are made in a, somewhere else. This is, and that, that's quite a unique sort of selling factor for you. I definitely agree with you. In um, nowadays, uh, the open markets allowed many manufacturers to purchase components everywhere in the world, put them together and just stamp a name on it. We are proud to present ourselves uh, as a, a pure manufacturer of firearms. So, to reach the status, we machine uh, the components in our machining department that Ian has the pleasure to visit and uh, now I extend the invitation to you as well because you can literally see from the beginning to the end all the phases from the raw block of steel uh, to a refined engraved action frame. Yeah. And this particular gun that you're going to start in the UK is going to have a price point of around sort of eighteen, nine hundred pounds to two thousand pounds, isn't it? Yes, exactly. So it's quite an aggressive price point, considering all the technical, all the technical aspects and some uh, uh, finishing cosmetic decision that we took. Believe me, is quite a challenge. Yeah. But we are very confident to achieve this challenge because. Uh, once the product is well explained and well introduced to the interested uh, hunter, you can see so many little details that uh, for a, a regular, let's say for a regular end user, may be not so easy to see. But believe me, there are hours of things to say about, about, about this over and under. Thank you for your time. And let's, let's ask the audience, what do you think of Breeder? Have you had a breeder in the past? Any comments that you would like to know, let's comment below. And I'm pretty sure one of, one of the three of us will answer any of your questions. Thank you very Thank much you. for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we've come to the Caesar Greeny stand here at IWA. And this is going to be one of the guns that's in my coolest guns. They've just they've made the new Evictus. They've put the red lines in. It's got the red coming down here. They've just tried to do something fashionable, something new in the market. They've got the sort of the nice, they put a nice piece of wood on it, external chokes, ventilated bowels, ventilated ribs, but it's more this. So they've, they've just made, tried to make it stylish and um, different, from want of a better word. So that is the new Evictus Caesar Greeny. Welcome to the Verney Caron stand. And this is a gun maker in France, and it is the last consumer gun manufacturer in France. It's been going for 202 years and I am with uh, one of the sales directors and he's just going to give us a little bit of a history, background history. He's got some quite cool stuff with this com gun company and you never know they are going to try and be reintroduced into the UK. So comment below, have you ever owned one of these French guns or would you ever like to own one of these French guns? So welcome, how's the show? Thanks. Show is going going great. Yeah, you're kind of trying to get back into the UK market. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit of history about what this gun company is, because there's some quite unique things with this. Yeah, gun for sure. Uh, the only gun you told it is one of the last uh, is the last you know, gun maker in France. Yeah. But you also to understand that it's probably one of the oldest guns gun maker in Europe. Yeah. Because we were able to find proof of activity of the company up to 9, 8, 1820. Yeah. So we are 200 uh, years old, more than 200 years old, 203 years old, almost four now. Okay. And we are we were mainly focused on the hunting business yeah. for this time and mainly on shotguns. We are well known in France and almost every French hunter got one of our Sagittaire, which is our yeah. best seller in terms of You're well known all over Europe. I mean, when yeah. was the last time you came into the, the UK? I think we stopped probably 15 years ago now. Yeah, because you can still find some of your guns in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know that. And, and you want to reintroduce the brand back into the UK. Have you got a sort of plan or are you going to have a plan of how to do that? Or? Yeah, the idea is to bring back our shotguns to the, uh, to the um, British market. Yeah. Because we deeply think that our guns are really matching the way that British are hunting. Yeah. And so it will be of interest. And then you're going to show me a couple of your really unique 
guns. Yep. Um, just give, just sh sort of go through and show me a couple of those. So our main product, our main shotgun is called the Sagittaire. You yep. can find it in different lengths of barrels and different kind of, of barrels depending on the use that the, the, and the kind of game the, um, the Ancha is doing. Yeah. So basically the most sold is the Sagittaire Polynox. It's, um, it's an over and under, um, it's an over and under uh, shotgun uh, with a 68 barrel. I will say um, it's this one. This one is a, is a Sagittaire, okay. Um, with Turkish walnuts, the, uh, the, an over and under 12 gauge. We uh, can have it also in 20, 20 gauge. Yeah. Uh, barrels are called damage in, in our company, making, meaning that it's the best quality of barrel that you, might, you would find on a shotgun. What does it mean for a, for an hunter? Is that if in any case you you've got mud or another um, bullet or a uh, component inside the barrel itself, if you shot a second time, it will not explode. Yeah. It will be deformed. It will uh, it will blow a bit, but it will not be it will not explode it. Okay. And the biggest unique thing is yes, everyone can see it's a double trigger. Yeah. But it's a double trigger with a twist. Exactly. It's a double trigger, but you can double the shots on the first trigger. So that means you can, it's a double trigger, but you can pull the trigger on both barrels on the first trigger. Yeah. So you don't actually have to have the second trigger. Yeah. Or you can use the second trigger on the first barrel. So it's got so many different options. So yes, you are correct, it's a double trigger, but it's a double trigger that is a single trigger as well. Exactly. When you are when you are hunting peacocks or things like that, where it's important to be really fast, yeah. then this system is really nice. But in the in the, in the, on the same time, if you are close, uh, crossing something else and you need to shot a bit further, then you can use the second shot on that, for example. Okay. And then there's there's what else? The, the other unique thing with your guns is you've got on the semi-autos. You've got this side lever. Explain yeah. to me that. So, on, on this shotgun, it's no more as a semi-auto, I will yeah. explain it. Uh, basically, you've got this lever on the side, which is called the stop and go system. It's our own patents, okay, that has been copied, okay, but that's a game, I would say. Um, it's, it's ordering the gun to be classified no more as a semi-automatic semi shotgun, but, but in many countries as an end repeating system, because every time that you, you are shooting, so the bolt is in the back, okay? Bolt is in the back. The ammunition is there. You push the button, it's loading the ammunition. When you will shoot, it will bring back the bolts on the back, holding it, and then meaning that you just have to push the on your thumb and then on the on your index to shoot. Okay, yeah. So it's meaning it's making something really fast and also really safe. Yeah. Because every time between each action, your, the bolt is on the back, and so the gun is, n is not dangerous at all. Yeah. So it's all about velocity, I would say, I would say sorry, but it's also about safety. One last thing, what's this, what's this project? It says Signature, it says Made in France. So the Sagittaire is, the, as I told you, is our main shotgun. It's the most sold in France since uh, its first design in the, in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, of course, the shotgun has been improved, it has been redesigned. But since this date is the most no, uh, known in France, and I would say that every hunter in France got one of these during their hunting career, I would say. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So we're here with Savage, a US branded, a US gun brand. We don't do very many US gun brands on here because it's all European. So we thought we'd come here, do something completely different. No, you can't get this gun in the UK yet. And we're here with, what's your first? Rob Gates. And we're here with Rob Gates, which is the sales manager. And he's going to show us what he thinks is the coolest gun in IWA show. Rob, how are you? How's the Very show? Well. Show's going very well, very yeah. well. Um, yeah, so we've got the Renegade competition here. We make a couple different models. Um, actually, we make more models than on display here, but this one's really cool. Yeah, uh, we've got red Cerakote to really set it off for, for any three-gun competitions, things like that. You've got a nine-round magazine tube. This gun is built in the U United States, uh, one of just a couple yeah. semi-auto shotguns that are, that are built in the U.S. <coughs> and what makes this 
as you say, the coolest gun in IWA. So this is got a number of different patents, but we the the key aspect of this gun is the drive gas system. So this yeah. is a patented gas system, no doubt the softest shooting 12 gauge shotgun made. Now, I can say that because I work for Savage, but I'll put it up against anybody's gun side by side with the same ammo, yeah. and the recoil of this gun is is very, very soft compared to the others. You've got hard chrome on the internal, so it's very easy to clean. In the box, you've got different comb. Yeah. Here on the scene, you can feel that it's got a little soft texture to it, and these are replaceable. So if you just to fit the shotgun, to yourself, you've got drilled and tap on the receiver, so you can put a, a little red dot sight on it and uh, put the higher comb to get your cheek yeah. up a little higher on the gun. But uh, you can see we've got Renegade on the side of it, red trigger, black furniture, uh, screw in extended chokes with a fiber optic sight, and uh, shoots really, really yeah. quick. And for our US viewers, because we haven't got quite a few sure. of you, um, sort of how, where can you buy that from in the US? Um, just about any independent dealer, if they don't have one, they can order one. All of our distributors that, that service the independent dealers in the U.S. either have these or have access to them. So if any of you U.S. people, if you want to comment below and you want one of these, just comment below, we can put you in touch. So, Beautiful. obviously you have a, a slightly different gun rules to what we have in the U.K. Um, you've been working with Viking for a few years now. Is this something you're going to try and introduce into the UK market? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, we uh, um, Savage has been around a long time, and and uh, we're uh, kind of reintroducing ourselves to the to the UK market with some some key products. And this one is in the in the chain, but it's just a couple more months away from going down that path in terms of the introduction. So you've got to really talk Andy into. Bringing them in there. That's my job. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a bunch. Thank Appreciate you. it. So we've come to the Gruyler stand. Gruyler is a Spanish manufacturer, and there is only five Spanish shotgun manufacturers now left. Gruyler is one of them. Obviously, I've done lots of with AYAs on here as well. So we just wanted to come and do see a different manufacturer. I'm with the owner of the business, and he's just going to talk to me about um, he makes his handmade guns and just go through why he's still doing it and um, and what the process is yeah welcome and Thank have you. you had a good show yeah more or less was yeah. quite busy the days yeah. before yeah so on thursday and friday quite busy yeah. here and uh, it was good yeah. yeah so tell me a little bit of history about your company and about why you only make cyber sides handmade cyber sides well in fact uh, we are a small company uh, established in 1932 and at that time in our place in Eibar, in our town, uh, was met this type of guns, the, the custom made side by side guns and uh, we have continued making the gun or the shotgun we, we, we know to do. Yeah. And we're a small company, not uh, with not big uh, uh, machines and so on. So this is um, the type of gun we we have experience making, and we consider nowadays is not many makers yeah. that continue making. And why do you think there isn't many makers in Spain? Well, it's true that there there is a, a bigger demand on over and unders now on the market. There are big big groups like. There were well uh, Italian groups uh, and German groups and so on that you can find it more easily uh, over and under on the shops in the different gun shops in, in Europe and in different countries and perhaps they are more popular because of that because the hunter is seeing on the shops this more this type of shotguns. Okay, and in the UK, cybersides are actually making a bit of a comeback. Yeah. Um, and what I think people want to beat tradition. Have you have you not found that across the world about sort of people coming back and want to be a bit? Yeah, we are seeing a bit of that also in the last five, six years that people is coming back to the side by sides because of uh, the possibility of having a custom made gun. Yeah. Because in our case, we start building the gun where we get the specs of each client. Yeah. The stock measurements, the length of barrels, the chokes, calibers, etc., etc. 
we personalize the shotguns and it's not the opposite this is not to manufacture and then start selling it's yeah. we manufacture when we get all the specs yeah also the on weight terms the side by side shotgun is um, lighter yeah. compared to an over and under this is lima um, people say it's more classic more elegant well it's different factors and it, we've got one here and just, yeah. just tell me a little bit about this and what's what makes it so special well this is uh, one of our royal uh, with Celtic style engraving yeah uh, this is a true uh, silo, five, seven pin silo shotgun automatic and what do you mean by that just explain that a little bit more for the viewers well all the trigger mechanism is inside these silo yeah okay the hammers and uh, springs and so on it's not uh, the Anson Dilly uh, trigger system, which is uh, not especially on the on, on the side of themselves. Yeah. Uh, we have the self-opening system to load quicker the shotgun. Yeah. Especially for red partridge in Spain or pheasants in England, and mm. well to load to shot uh, quicker. Well, it's and uh, well, apart from this, we do. Um, uh, handmade engravings. With... And this is all handmade? Yes, yes. So the wood to metal finish is, how long does it take you to actually make one of these? We, in average, we get, we need between eight and 10 months from receiving the order to finish, to finish each order. Yeah. So comment below, would you like a handmade side by side to your spec? Comment below, have you heard of this brand? And what would you, what would you go for if you went and bought one of these. Thank you ever so much. Thank, Thank you for you. spending time with us. And Thank you. I love your guns. They are absolutely fantastic. Many thanks. And uh, we will hopefully see you in, in England sometime. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.